Hello everyone. So today I thought of sharing something about Drupal. Now Drupal is uh, of course a very popular CMS based framework. People use Drupal to build websites and not just simple websites. In fact, big websites. Now, if you are already using G Drupal or if you have ever used Drupal and uh, you are in a company where Drupal is used for doing a lot of things, maybe Drupal is your intranet, maybe Drupal is uh, uh, used uh, to do some basic planning. Now, as part of my day job uh, or the the main thing which I do for a living, I am an Atlassian consultant. I provide consultation around uh, Atlassian tools like Jira. Now, Jira is of course a, a very popular tool for issue tracking. People use Jira for project management and Jira has a lot of use cases. But I think Drupal can also be used uh, for doing lightweight, basic, simple, pro not really project management, but I, I should say issue tracking or planning some task. Now, I have done this using a module called PM, I believe that was the name, but that module is not really there in, or that not really, I, I don't really think there is any Drupal 10 or 9 equivalent. And I was trying to, I was just evaluating or looking at some modules and I fortunately I found some modules. Now in Drupal, if you're coming from, let us say Jira, in Jira we have issues and we have a workflow and that is how things uh, fundamentally work. And when it comes to issue, you basically have different fields like summary, assignee, reporter, and you are able to add comments. So you can actually do a lot of these things in Drupal as well, right? Because in Drupal, everything is a node. Now, node is uh, something that, I mean, you have a content type. In Jira, we have issue type. In, 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 in Drupal, we have, of course, these content types. And for each and every content type, you can have different fields. So you can, you can def definitely create those fields to match your, basically, if you need to track something like, like a task or, or an epic or something similar, you can create those fields, right? But is it really a good idea to use Drupal to do task management? I think you can. Of course, don't really expect Drupal to behave like Jira or any other proper uh, dedicated issue tracking tool, but I think you can do some basic planning. And if you have a small team, if you just need a tool, because although I, I am an, I'm a consultant, I provide consultation around Atlassian tools. So it is in my benefit if, if I am able to, in a way, not sell, but if you're using Jira, then it is definitely definitely for my benefit because you will then reach out to me for more work. But I also want uh, to be transparent. I think if you're using uh, Drupal for doing something si simple, it can be a bit complex, but if you, if you have, let us say, already Drupal in your organization, don't really use Drupal to create your own Jira or a similar tool. If you already have Drupal in your organization for your intranet, let us say, I think you can definitely configure a few things for doing basic issue tracking. Now, there are ways to do, because everything is an issue, or not, not an issue, but a node in Jira, or not in Jira, but in Drupal. But the way you would visualize it, work on it, can actually let you plan the work. For example, in, G, in, in I keep saying Jira, but in Drupal, there is a module called views underscore Kanban. And you can actually create your own view uh, to basically replicate uh, a bit like a typical Kanban board. So this is the one possibility. The other module is uh, something which I quite like. I am trying to figure out whether I can use it or not, because of course it's simple, it is basic, but it, it looks all right. So there is a way to manage your backlog. So the module is called as uh, burn down, <laughs> like maybe they are trying to replicate Scrum. So this module will let you create uh, sprints and you can see here that okay we have a backlog you can create different sprints and uh, apart from creating different sprints you also have your board which is wonderful so i don't really see any reason why this won't work because everything is a node in drupal apart from this sprint to be honest even if you don't really have this view you can still do do things right because if you have, of course, in Drupal, we don't really have an equivalent work. There is a, because in Jira, Jira is known for workflow. 
so you can have a, a wonderful workflow but in jira uh, of course workflow is uh, is the core in drupal there is no such workflow but there are modules that will let you do or create some kind of a flow or a workflow but if you are doing basic issue tracking you can simply look at this node and then um, add some information on top of it for example if you want to do some estimation i i guess it is nothing but a field but uh, sprint is also a field and then you can uh, uh of course report on it of course there are things that you need to manage like for example uh, uh when you start the sprint when you end the sprint you need to capture those details somewhere i guess but that is what i mentioned if you want to do some basic issue tracking very basic project management drupal can still be used and uh, uh, there are other modules that will let you do some visualization for example uh, this module content underscore planner i guess this can be used to see what you are supposed to i guess publish on a calendar on a specific date so this is something that people do in fact one of my client they are doing something similar they want to have some kind of content planning board on a calendar in jira but drupal can still be used so definitely if you are doing basic issue tracking simple project management do consider drupal i have done that by the way uh, in the past i have as i mentioned i used the module but i was able to of course manage my work and uh, you have to of course build it because drupal is a framework it is a cms but it is also a framework so you can always build on top of it and uh, when you are able to use these modules you can actually get started very quickly so just give it a try and maybe let me know if if you have tried it or maybe if you have any concerns again not only comparing it with jira or other tools but uh, drupal if it is already being used in your organization maybe maybe uh, try basic project project management using it all right that is it that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye